What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as D365Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate and OneDrive for Business, and we're going to look at the action which is move or rename a file. So this action allows you to move a file in your OneDrive from one location to another, or rename a file in its current location, or rename it as you're moving it. So you can do two at once. So let's take a look at the action today. So I'm in Power Automate, I have a OneDrive business flow here. I've got a trigger, which is when a file is created. I'm not actually going to trigger it using this. I'm going to use the test functionality just for a bit of ease and so we're not creating so many files. Then I click on new step. And I'll find one drive for business, this one. And I'll scroll down until we get to move or rename a file. So you can see there's two, uh, there's two actions, move or rename a file using path is one we'll cover in another video. We are to choose the move or rename file. Next, we, we need two parameters that are required. So we need the file, so this is the unique identifier of the file, and also the destination file path. So in my instance, what I'm going to do is now I click on the show picker, and then I'm going to navigate through to my Power Automate folder, and then I'm going to select this Badger picture here. So this Badger picture is in my Power Automate folder, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to move that to another folder. So I have another folder. Um, you'll try to notice that there isn't a file uh, picker here, so we can't use that. We actually have to type it in. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to type power automate forward slash uh, stop looping, which is another folder inside that folder. And then we're going to um, take the file name badger1.jpg. We also have the option to overwrite or not. So this means that we can actually move a file to another location and overwrite the existing one there. And I choose yes in this instance. So there we have it, that's, that's all we need. So this, these two requirements here, these two parameters do require the friendly path name, not the one that you get from some of the OneDrive for Business um, uh, actions and, and triggers and things like that. You need to get the, the friendly file name. So you can actually use um, a proper parameter for this, uh, a proper piece of direct content, uh, but I was just using the picker for ease. Um, and we'll test this out. So what we're going to do is move this file from here into this other one. So we'll go over to OneDrive for Business. You can see I have my Badger picture here. This is my picture of a Badger. And it's currently in my Power Automate folder. We're going to move this into this folder, which is stop looping here. So let's test this out. So we'll go back to Power, Power Automate. We'll click on test. We'll run from a previously run test. That's running. And it's all green. So that's great. So it's moved. So if we expand this, we can see um, these are the inputs. And we've got some outputs here. Um, and we do get some, some good content, like what, what type of image it is, etc., its size, who modified it, etc. If I go back to my OneDrive business and just refresh the page, we can see that budget image has disappeared from here. And we can now see that it is in this folder here. So, so that's moved it. But we can also rename with this function as well, or this action. So in here, I can uh, go up a level. Sometimes I do find that this uh, this interface doesn't always load things great. So um, sometimes you will see cached um, cached file structures. So we'll click on that from there. And what we're going to do is we're going to put it back in that previous folder. Um, actually, no, no, we're going to leave it where it is. But we're going to change the name of it. So we'll just stick keep it where it is. So uh, badger photo. So to rename the file, all you need to do is you need to again specify in the same path that you want to use, and you need to give it a new name, and you also need to make sure that overwrite is set to yes. These things will then change the name and update. So we will test this out. So we'll on test. We'll just trigger it again. Doesn't matter which one we're using. I just want to trigger the flow and it's running and we can see it went green so that worked so so we do have uh, so we have all the content here uh, so we have the inputs of what it was what we were going to make it to we have the name etc so we can go back into here and still see it says badger one just refresh the page and we get badger photo 
So it's as easy as that. So if you want to rename a file, just specify in the same directory that you want to rename of the path it, the folder that it's in, and the new name that you want to rename it to. If you want to move it, just just use the destination path. And again, you can just use, um, usually you probably use a piece of dynamic content to get the name or the folder or the, the file name, etc., and just rename it and just have that name at the end as well. So there we go. So that's a really easy way to move and rename files around in your OneDrive for business. So you could be moving things from one folder to another when you process things. You could just be renaming things um, to maybe give them a, a timestamp or a date stamp on them. Maybe you want to um, stamp it by when it was last modified, like when it was created or something like that, or when the flow runs. So there's loads of great things that you could use this for but as always i want to know what you guys use this for so let me know in the comments down below if you like this video please like and please share it with your friends that'd be much appreciated if you've not already please hit that subscribe button and subscribe to my youtube channel and i'll see you next time